Well, hello there, good folks. How are you doing? Nigel Streeter from Interact here. Today, I want to talk to you about something which some people would disagree with. Absolutely fine, not a problem. What I'm going to tell you is, do not set aims and objectives in your life, be that your personal life or your professional life. Now, I already hear people out there saying, why, Nigel, why? Why, Nigel, why? It's things that I've discovered as I've got older, as I've become more of a mature gentleman. When I was younger, I was sort of expected to set aims and objectives. And I didn't realize this was having a detrimental effect on my well-being and potentially my mental health. What I thought was that this was the way. I thought that everybody sets aims and objectives. So why am I saying this? I'm saying this purely and simply because if you set up aims and objectives, then what you're doing is you're setting yourself up to fail. And the reason for that is because you are creating an arbitrary line in the middle, which is the sort of thing that delineates between success and failure. What happens if you only just fail? No, using this sort of measurement now, what happens if you only just succeed? That's not the same as 100% success or 0% failure. I realized that an awful lot of stress and tension in my life was caused by me seeing myself as failing on a number of occasions. And I also now realize my mental attitude is the architect of that perception of failure. When, for argument's sake, let's use some numbers, I succeeded 48%. I hadn't quite squeaked over that line. Well, that's not a failure. I've got 48% more knowledge in relation to a particular subject or a thing or an area than I had before I started. I'm not saying that you can't have aims and objectives if you want to. Most people do. Most people want to have these things. And maybe if it works for you, stick to it. So what I do when I come to a situation whereby uh, aims and objectives would normally be set, I actually say to myself, remember this thing I talk about all the time, about talking to yourself. Remember what I say about visual imagery? I will say, go with the flow. See what you can get out of this, but don't set yourself up as a success or a failure. I know for a fact that this works for me. I know for a fact that this was a cause of great tension and stress in my life on occasions, and probably was a contributory factor towards my sort of crash and burn all those years ago. Try it. See if it works for you. See how much you can achieve, and then make the actual mental uh, resolution, if you want to call it that, to say, how much did I actually know now that I didn't know then? And you can build on that. Don't create this arbitrary line in the middle because it doesn't actually exist in real life. Don't say that if you came this side of the line, anywhere this side of the line, you failed. Don't say that if you come anywhere this side of the line, it was a success because you are creating those opportunities for you to be disappointed in yourself and to put extra stress and tension on your shoulders. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. Get rid of that stress and tension. That's what we're all about. Take that weight off your shoulders and don't do things that contribute to making these things happen. That's my opinion. It works for me, absolutely works for me, and maybe it'll work for you. Thanks for listening. Speak to you again soon. Bye. If you would like some more specific information on how you can make this happen and how you can take on this state of mind, give us a shout on the email that you'll see coming up very soon. Take care. Bye.